Hey guys, what's up? It's Dylan, and I'm back with another video. I hope you guys have had a good Christmas. I hope you guys um, are enjoying your home time or just whatever you may be doing. Um, just kind of been sitting back and relaxing, but I had some time, kind of bored, that I'd make a little video on the GPS I bought before I went on home time. Now, I haven't had a good chance to really use this GPS. Um, it is a Garmin Diesel. D-E-Z-L uh, OTR 700 this GPS costs $399.99 anywhere I've looked that's been the price on it whether it's Pilot, Loves, Flying J, TA um, online, Garmin website same price so I purchased it and it cost me with tax and all about $430 I can tell you right now that this has easily been the best money I have spent while driving a truck. Yes, I do have my driver tech, um, and I used my phone as well before using Google Maps. This thing does more than the two combined. Um, go back here and you hit the button to turn it on. I'm going to kind of just do a little review on it. It'll pop the screen up. And what I love about it, you can either hit A or the first choice to uh, choose a car. Or B, you can choose tractor. And you can set up your length, width, height, um, weight, if you're hazmat, not hazmat, doubles, triples, um, whatever the case, you know, wide load, whatever. Whatever the case may be, you can set that up. And when you do that, it will only show you truck routes. It will only show you, it will only put you on routes that you can use while operating with those dimensions that you just entered in. Now, um, first off, you can go to, you got these options right here, just pull in more things now. Um, this will connect to your phone. You can connect it to your phone via the Garmin Drive app. It's a free app, and it just connects, um, get live data, things like that, that I will show you in a minute. I've got all these options here, saved, address, go home, trip advisor, truck locations, things like that. Shows me current location, Hendersonville. Um, intersections, fuel prices. And it'll show you best fuel prices in your area that you can access in your truck. It does that based, that's one of the things it does based off your phone. Now it does take a second to load. Um, matter of fact, I've actually never used this option. Um, but it'll show you fuel prices. You know, it'll show you all, nearly anything you want to see. Hit my trip history. These are the trips I've made, that's how much time I've drove, the miles, this, that, and the other. So, and by the way, I just want to put out there that this um, is way more clear, vivid, um, than the my phone's going to put it off to be. Uh, it just it really isn't going to do it justice. And by the way, it is straight, it's the way I'm holding my phone. <laughs> Um, you can set up what it displays down here. Well, hit the speed, it'll automatically display the speed. Show your weather in your area, your current speed, trip, all that stuff. I mean, it'll show you anything you need to know. Hit this, and it'll show you, you can pull up temperature, next mile marker. Direction, elevation, time of day. Um, it actually has a lot more things that will pull up as well. Uh, typically, you can have it display um, your ETA, your distance until you get to that destination, um, what time you'll arrive, things like that. This button right here, it'll show you uh, routes that trucks commonly take which is what's going to be highlighted in the purple, the purplish blue. I take that off. Anything in the teal is a known truck route. Um, 
typically, or, you know, or the orange, which is an interstate. Um, and the gray are other little side roads that is unsure if a truck can take those or not. You just hit that on and off and it'll show you. It'll say displaying popular truck paths. Like it shows a little purple right here because that's uh, the local Walmart. You can hit this right here and um, now again some of it's not active because like cities ahead, elevation, turns, because I'm not on a trip so it can't show me that and I'm not moving so it can't currently show me that stuff. Um, I'm not going to click on phone because it will display a couple phone numbers I don't want to be seen, but I can hit that and place a phone call through my phone. I can hit weather and it'll show me the accurate weather weather for my location, which it just says it's going to be cloudy with a chance of flurries. I can hit view radar. And it will pull up a live radar where I'm at in my area. What can I expect? Now I'll see if I, well, I can't, I'm zoomed out as much as possible. But I can do this. Give it a second to load. Now it does this off your phone. You can connect it with the Garmin Drive app, like I said, and um, it'll show you live radar. So, you know, this is for the time. All that, you can pause it, all that, and of course, you know, blue, snow, green, red, you know, all that shit. Um, and when I seen that it could do that, it blew my mind. I had no idea it could do that. That is not one of the things I knew about when I purchased this. Um, it just blew my mind. Uh, local traffic. This thing will tell you... Um, Again, you know, it shows right here, it connects to the Garmin, uh, the Garmin Drive app. And it'll pull up here, and it'll show red areas and stuff like normal, like when you're looking on a, for example, Google Maps or something. Um, it'll tell you if you have any delays. If you're driving and you're coming up on a construction zone, it'll come up and say, hey, uh, construction up ahead, the distance, what kind of delays are expected with it, um, this, that, and the other. I mean, this thing, and I'm not even going through all the features. It would take me a long time to do that. Um, you could run logs with this. You could see live photo and uh, videos and stuff with this. You can plan your breaks. I mean, you can see what's up ahead. Ways to, you know, and, you can, and you can change it. Truck parking, cameras, way stations, whatever you want to see. Um... Just the things you can do with this blow my mind. I'll tell you what I'll do. Trip history. I mean, the things this thing will do blow my mind. You know, I didn't know it was going to do all the things that it does, but I am just so glad I purchased it. It is going to become a very useful tool. Some more details I would like to say about it. Like I said, it'll tell you construction. It'll tell you, um, and like it, you don't have to always go to it. It'll pop it up and tell you, um, hey, there's construction up ahead. There's a five minute delay or there's no delay or I've even it's even popped up and told me what lane I was going to have to merge over into now I've noticed it won't do this with every that with every single one but most of the time it'll tell you when you have a steep grade coming up ahead or a sharp curve or a set of curves or um, it'll uh, notify you of speed uh, speed limit changes. It'll ding and say, uh, well, it won't say anything, but it'll ding. And right here, it'll display your speed. And it'll uh, flash yellow to whatever speed it's changing to. 
whether it's uh, speeding up to 70 or slowing down to 55 or whatever the case may be. I know this isn't going to be the best video, um, but I just kind of wanted to talk about it because I'm just, I'm, I'm excited to use this thing more. I really am. Like I said, it's just, so far it has blown my mind with all the features that it has and things it'll do. Like I said, I can make phone calls with it. I can, and it'll actually, I can actually have it set up now. I also have my uh, phone set up to the Bluetooth or the radio, which it'll still work with both of them. But I can have it just come out of that, and it actually is really loud. So, again, okay, this is the uh, the Garmin Diesel, that's D-E-Z-L, OTR 700. I would recommend it to anybody that was looking for a good truck GPS that is clear to understand, um, the most direct route, and just... Also, with a good cost effectiveness. I mean, like, this thing is awesome. So, that's just my little video on it. I just kind of wanted to make a quick video. Um, I'm here at my apartment complex, just chilling. Just took a good ass nap. I hope you guys are having a great Christmas. Happy New Year's. Um, I wasn't planning on staying out this long, or staying home this long, rather, but. Due to a few things that have unfortunately happened, um, I don't live far from Nashville. I'm sure, everybody's heard about the uh, the bombing that happened in Nashville. Uh, due to that, you know, they I don't know how it is now, but they had uh, temporarily closed the airport, weren't letting uh, planes depart or arrive here in Nashville, which unfortunately caused it where my little brother couldn't come home. Uh, he's stationed in Fort Hood. Recently just got transferred there, and he was looking forward to coming home, but doesn't look like that's going to get to happen. So. But, it's alright. I'll be leaving out on the 1st, and, um, I'm not sure how long I'll stay out yet. <laughs> so, anyways. I hope you guys have a great Christmas. Or had a great Christmas. I hope you guys have a happy new year. And I hope this uh, review maybe helps you guys out. Again, really would recommend this GPS. Super glad I got it. And uh, I'm excited to use it. Might make another video on um, my little personal project, my, uh, my S10 I'm working on. I got a lot done with it. So, I don't know yet. But anyways, y'all. Y'all have a good day. And peace out and be safe.